Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.0. In this video, I'm going to go over the header, the footer, and the startup tags in the Harlow story format. So in a large, sprawling project, you might find that you need to run a small section of code at the beginnings or the ends of passages frequently. You might want to update some values at the beginning of a set of passages or update some values at the end of passages. So while you can do this through using the display macro and other macros as well, there is in fact built-in functionality as part of the tagging system in Harlow that can help with this problem. So let's get the header tag. So look, above this will be the current time. And the current time as I record this is 7.48 p.m. You may have also noticed this with the start passage as well. So by tagging a passage with header all lowercase, it will be run as the header of all other passages in a story. So it means that that section of code, whatever is set to header, will be run before the content of the current passage each time. And this is the same with the footer as well. And so you may have also guessed it at this point, but yes. You can do the same with the footer tag as well. So all lowercase footer will be the footer of all passages in a story. So if you want to get things to run first, you can use the header tag. And get things to run last, you use the footer tag. Well, there's also the startup tag. So beyond the header and footer, there's also a startup tag. And Harlow that, of course, runs at startup before even the starting passage does. So I've composed this example here, but let's go back and look at the actual code to see this in practice. So I have my start passage, which links to header, and I pull up header, and you see that it links to footer, and I pull up footer, and you see that it links to startup, and startup just has text, right? So we didn't actually see the header, the footer, or the startup in action. But in fact, they were the content of these three other passages here. Time header, you see, has the tag of header, all lowercase. And so it's run at the beginning of every passage. And so in this, the content of time header passage, I'm using the current time macro to set the value of the variable header value to the current time and then I'm having it shown and then we're using a horizontal rule element here as we saw in practice there was the current time and then the horizontal rule and then some content of the passage and then a horizontal rule and then the footer and we see that of course in the passage with the footer tag so we see the horizontal rule element and the value of the variable footer value. Now footer value, as you may have noticed here, wasn't set in header and isn't set in footer, but is in fact set in configuration startup passage here using the startup tag. So for example, if you wanted to set a number of, ini a number of initial values for different variables at the beginning of your story even before the start passage is run you can use the startup tag to do that so if you want to initialize a number of different values or here I'm just initializing the value of the variable footer value to the string this is a footer and so configuration startup runs first and then header of start and then the footer so as we saw in practice, we see this is a footer. The value of that string was set. Then we see the current time was updated when this passage was rendered. Then we see the content of the passage. And then of course we see the footer. And we can use this functionality as I've sort of alluded to already to set some initial values with a startup passage and then use the header and footer tags to have things run at the beginning of passages and then have things run at the end of passages. For example, if we need to update values or if we need to change things, or in this case, just update to the player what the current time is each time the passage is run. So as we see, 
the time changes each time because the macro is setting the value and then showing the value each time the header is run. And so the inner content of the passage didn't change, but the header, but the passage tagged with header and the passage tagged with footer did. And so we can use those to change values as we go through a story. And use startup, of course, as I've already discussed, to set our initial values that we want to use in the story and just have certain passages, which is text and links to other passages. Thanks for watching.